Okay, this is a brief video about fixture definitions. Now, if you run into the unfortunate situation where you have a fixture in your rig and you don't have a manual for it and it's not set up correctly and so you don't know how many channels on it or how it's running, whatever, you have to do a little bit of detective work and I'll tell you how I go about doing that. Um, what you'll want to do here though, before you do this, take a look at my um, video on uh, fixture editor so you understand what you're going to do. So what we're going to do is do our detective work, try to figure out what channels are on the light and then after, and jot down some notes about those channels and then go back and open up the fixture editor and then again take a look at my uh, fixture editor video and then you can figure out uh, what you need to do there. So I have found myself in this kind of situation I would go up and take a look at the fixture. Let's say I have the, I can look at the back of the fixture and I see that it is, seems like it's patched in at um, starting DMX address of let's say 60. So what I'll do here, I'm just bringing up a blank QLC setup. I'm going to go to my fixtures page. I'm just going to add generic dimmers. Now it doesn't matter, you don't, that, whether we're using dimmers or not. We're just basically going to be sending DMX signals to different channels to see what kind of results we can get. See if we can figure out, like let's take for instance that this might be um, a wash light. So we're trying to figure out which channel is controlling the red, the green, the blue, the white, uh, the dimmer, if there's a separate dimmer channel on it, is there a strobe channel on it? Uh, there could be program channels on it where it does stuff on its own. So it can get kind of confusing. So what I'm going to do, I really don't know how many channels this light will be. So I'm going to say, uh, just leave it at dimmers here. I'm going to start at address uh, 60 because I know the light's set up to there. And um, it's going to be one channel. But quantity wise, I'm going to say that I want, let's just say 12. And no address gap and just click OK. So what I've done is I've collect, I've just created 12 DMX channels on here. Then what I'll go over, I'll just go over to my simple desk. And we have these patched. Now I'm going to click up here and it's just going to show me just the things I have patched. So this dimmer 1 through 12 and this is patched at 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So now I'm just going to try putting up some of these channels. So all we're basically doing is sending DMX information. Um, what we could do is put them all up. We should get some kind of a result on the light. But you'll have to play around with it and figure out, um, you know, which one of these is controlling the colors. Uh, there may be a program channel or something like that. And just try them out and then take some notes on there. Uh, what you'll probably find if it's a wash light is that you'll have um, different channels controlling the colors, but then you might have a master dimmer channel on that also. So the colors are not going to go on until you find that master dimmer channel. Another thing that you may find is that maybe a shutter channel on there and it won't display any colors until the shutter is cracked open, which is typically somewhere like around 005 or 010, something like that. Um, so again, keep that in mind. You know, you're, you're putting them on and, you know, if you do this, you're likely to get some result. By the way, I can click the X here and take them down. But it's kind of discovering, okay, do I have a shutter channel that has to be cracked open a little bit for these lights to come on? Is there a master dimming channel? And you can't always assume, because different manufacturers, you can't assume that it's going to be dimmer, red, green, blue, white, amber, you know, that would be too easy. I've seen some lights where the programming channels are here and the dimmer channel is here and then the colors are down here. So it's just going to take some experimenting around to try to figure out what those channels are. But this is a quick way to do it and be able to put some channels off and on and, and, and see if you can get some result. And then once you do some detective work here and work your way through, then definitely make some notes that, you know, what is channel one doing? Is that a color channel or is it program channel now if you do have something like a programming channel some of the lights are set up with a programming channel for so like from uh, dmx value 0 to 20 it might be putting up a specific color 
uh, and then 21 to uh, 30 might be another color or it might be some kind of effect. And those don't run together. So you could have individual control over colors. You might have a dimmer, red, green, blue, white, and then you might have a programming channel. So keep that in mind too. Take a look at that video I did with um, the one light with the programming fixture and you'll see some of those qualities in there on the channels and that make, may, may make more sense to you when you do that. Um, other than that, I good, just good luck with a little detective work. Um, if you can get a name or manufacturer off the light, do some searching online and maybe you can get lucky enough to turn up a manual or you know, scour through the uh, drawers there at the tech, tech, tech booth or uh, you know, if, if you haven't been, if you're new to the situation, call the previous tech uh, guy and see if he can give you some information as far as what the channels go and maybe it'll save you a little bit of detective work. So uh, um, feel free to contact me if I can do anything. I might happen to be familiar with the light and can give you some pointers as to uh, what might be available there. Okay, uh, good luck.